Okay, so today we've got Jess doing one of her dynamic fitness assessments. It's the GXT test, which is the graded exercise test, which can be done on a treadmill, bike, or a cross trainer. Uh, it really sort of consists of heart rate monitoring. Uh, you start off with your at speed 3.5, increase it by uh, 1 every single minute until you reach the climb to comfortable maximum. Okay, so Jess has been going for a few minutes now already. I think we're about to start reaching the maximum now, Jess. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to start to bring the speed back down now. When we reduce the speed, we actually do it every 30 seconds uh, and, and again reduce it by one uh, mile per hour each time, okay? So we're going to monitor Jess's heart rate after minute one, minute two and minute three. And for health and safety reasons, never stop applying suddenly. Always make sure you bring them down gradually this way. And then the final 30 seconds, we're going to be back at the, the starting speed that we started the test at. Bring the test to a stop. Um, we're going to take a seat over on the bench, Jess, and uh, measure your heart rate now over one, two, and three minutes and uh, see what your results are. Yeah. Okay, so having now completed Jess's graded exercise test on the treadmill, we've been monitoring the heart rate for the last three minutes at minute one, two and three. Uh, the reading at minute one was 114 beats per minute. After minute two, it was 92 beats per minute. And after minute three, it was 80 beats per minute. And this puts Jess in the above average category. Uh, we'll be checking this again in about four to six weeks to see what progress Jess has made.